welcome back. Uh, today we continue our programming challenges in the book Starting Out with Java. And uh, we are in chapter 6. And the problem is also uh, number 6 in the chapter 6. And uh, uh, the, the problem is we have to create an employee class. Um, they say it is employee class modification. So we have to modify a, a, a class that we created earlier in chapter 3 in this book. We have to modify it. And, um, and basically we have to create a different multiple um, constructors that are overloaded uh, and we have to test uh, the class. So the class they are talking about that was created in chapter 3 is this one. This is a employee class. Basically, this class uh, job is to create the employee's name, their, their ID number, their department, uh, their, the department the employee works, and the position that they have. The constructor uh, take is uh, these uh, uh, these uh, arguments their name their ID number department and a position and it assigns to these fields after the constructor we uh, created the getters and setters for these fields so it's it's really basic um, uh, class uh, in Java um, so. We created this and I tested it in in this class called uh, test employee test. Uh, I created three different uh, employee objects uh, with two different uh, names. Um, their names is uh, Susan, Mark, and Joy. And um, it takes uh, their name, their ID, their department, and their position. And uh, here I, I printed uh, to the screen. And here is the, the printed version of, of, the, uh, of, the, of the program. Uh, as you can see here, um, their name, ID, and department, and position. So what they want us to do is, um, in this uh, employee modification class, what they want us to do is to create uh, a constructor that accepts the following uh, values as an argument and assigns them to the, the appropriate fields. So the, the first constructor we already we already created in the employee class. Uh, basically, they want us to create this uh, constructor. So we, we just we just copy this. Matter of fact, we will copy all of the all of the class, and and we will paste it here, and we will change we will change employee modification, and uh, this is uh, the, the the same thing the same uh, thing as the employee but we have to create two other constructors um, employee modification and the second constructor that we have to create uh, accepts the following uh, values as arguments and assigns them to the appropriate fields uh, so we have to accept the employee's name and ID number, um, and the department, uh, the department and the position the fields should be assigned uh, an empty string. Uh, so it only accepts. It only uh, we have to only accept the employee's name and ID number for this uh, for this constructor string name int id number 
uh, <coughs> name name id number id number and they said the department should be equal to empty string and the position should be equal to empty string and we have to create another um, another constructor which takes no arguments and assigns empty string to the name department and position fields and um, to the ID number field and zero to the ID number field so <coughs> employee modification doesn't take any arguments and they said all of them has to be equal to to empty string name uh, this ID number not ID number uh, ID number ID number is equal to zero department is equal to empty string and position is equal to empty empty string so they said write a program that tests and demonstrates uh, these constructors so the class is complete the employee modification is complete and it shows some it's showing some uh, some errors for some reason I don't know why okay oh it's here I forgot the the right parentheses. So we completed uh, we completed the employee modification. We just added these two constructors, um, which uh, one of them doesn't take any arguments, and the other takes only two arguments, and the other is set to empty string so we have to test it um, we have to test it in a different uh, program so I will just use this uh, class called employee test that I created earlier and um, I want to use it that so I would just delete all of it all of these and And test it here. Employ employee modification. Employee one. So we have to test uh, if if the constructor has no argument first. And. If, if this is the case, we just uh, have to only get uh, the the employees uh, the employers the employee ID only, uh, which we set to zero. So we have to see uh, number zero into the console to the console. Okay. So we have to test. Um, we have to test a a name. We have to give Susan Mayes an ID 
let's give a random ID and get get name it should give us uh, Susan Susan Mayes okay get ID it should give us the random ID number that we gave and if we if we call um, if we call position it should be empty since we didn't give anything uh, it should be empty yeah and uh, department as well it should be empty as well yeah but if we change uh, the object and give all the all the fields if we say is the object has a name id a department let's say uh, it and it has a position of of programmer now if i call employee 2 if i call employee 2 get department it should give us um, it it should give us it yes you can see so this is quite a simple class it doesn't it doesn't take you that much of an effort to create it uh, all all we have to, all we did is to create these two constructors we overloaded the constructor and um, made it uh, accept different arguments and uh, please try it and uh, and the hope i hope it it, it helps you uh, thank you guys and i will see you next time